call to do something great. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's not comfortable. Sometimes it's going to be downright hard. Two times that it was the hardest thing I ever had to do was put the, I guess, put myself, the grief that I had to deal with, to put that on the back burner, to go do what I needed to do. Because one, that's what both of those people who talk to me so much would want, me, would want me to do. And then also, that's life, y'all. Life happens and we keep going. So today, what I want you to understand is when you're called to do something great, yes, it'll be amazing. It will be, it will represent God on a level that you couldn't imagine. This also sometimes, this is going to be hard. It's going to be rough moments. It's going to be times when you want to throw in the towel. You're like, I am done with this. But you have to keep going. One of my favorite scriptures is Ephesians 3.20. You've heard it. He's able to do it exceedingly abundantly above anything you can ask to think. Well, y'all, my whole life, evidently, has been Ephesians 3.20. But a new perspective came into play. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything you ask or think. But he expects exceedingly abundantly from you anything that you can ask or think. You reap what you sow. He is willing to give that to you. But he expects every bit of it right back. If you don't take anything else from that today, start sowing right now. Start learning who you are, the passion that's in you. What is it that you want to do? Don't just exist. Live life to the fullest. Imagine who we're celebrating in Black History Month if they would have just existed. Didn't have a passion. Didn't push. Imagine Martin Luther King like, well, you know, we need, we need, y'all stop riding the bus. You know, uh, y'all want to march? Y'all feel like marching? I don't feel like marching. We're not marching. Imagine <laughs> that mediocre attitude. Do everything on a level that is great. Simply because you were called to do it.